Yeah, we are in the magical studios here in our uh, new home of uh, the home of champion Sportsmax Television. This is the Sportsmax Zone, a Sportsmax Zone that you've not seen before because we don't have the normal show today because we are celebrating the launch of our new studios here in downtown Kingston. Uh, Nick Matthews is the CEO of Sportsmax Television and we are going to uh, be magical now in uh, introducing him to the desk as we get ready to talk to our CEO. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> He's, he, he's going to arrive shortly. He just got... He's <laughs> oh, my magic. goodness. That's magic. <laughs> it's like it's like we're in Star Trek. <laughs> maybe, maybe Ricardo and Mariah may be too young to remember Star Trek, but that's how people just arrive on scenes no. on Ma Star Trek. Mariah is too young. I'm definitely not. I know Star, Star Trek. Trek. <laughs> Did you watch it, Mariah? Yes. Right. I, he wasn't there, and then he was there. I know <laughs> Star Trek. Well, I have brothers. That, that's part of the magic that you will be seeing on the show in the coming coming years because Nick Matthews just appeared, the CEO. Uh, <laughs> Nick, welcome to the uh, set on the Sports Mag Zone. Uh, development that you've been a huge part of. Uh, talk to us about how proud you are of uh, what has happened today and what is about to happen for Sportsmac Television. Th thank you, Lance, Mariah, and Ricardo. Um, this is really a great moment. Um, we have come a long way. We have pretty much done everything, but this moment is really a milestone for us as a broadcast house. Yeah, you know what, um, just for clarification and qualification, Nick Matthews is on the outside celebrating <laughs> with uh, the, the, the family about the launch here, but somehow he has magically appeared on our set and <laughs> maybe one day our directors and our production staff will explain to you exactly how that was done. Um, so, so Nick, I spoke with Ransford Ricketts, our program manager, a little bit earlier on and uh, we, we saw him beaming. We saw him beaming with uh, pride as to what um, is unfolding here at Sportsmax. Give us your take on how you're feeling at the moment. Yeah, it, it's an exciting moment. The, where we are now is, has, has come to a lot of hard work and development. You know, we have worked with subpar equipment and deliver high quality content, high quality products. And for us to be at this stage now where we can have a facility that is high tech, that can compete um, with any production house across the world, this is really a big moment, really a big moment for us. Yeah, you know, I was making that point earlier on, Nick, because I was making the point that we are cable television, and although we are headquartered in the Caribbean, and um, there is a lot of domestic television surrounding us, um, we do consider our, our rivals to be the global stage um, and the top broadcasters of the world. And uh, I just want you to expand on the point that you've just touched on, that this gives us an opportunity with our state-of-the-art equipment and state-of-the-art studio to look like you know, the broadcasters that we, we see globally um, flourishing and, and highly rated. Absolutely. We have always had great talent, Lance, Ricardo, Mariah. You guys are comparable to any in the world. And at this point, I mean, we can now give you something to work with that is comparable to the talent that you have brought to the table all these years. And of course, Nick, you are that many years into the job as a CEO, but you have been with uh, Sportsmax now for about eight years. How do you feel about the growth of the company since you started, even from before the days uh, when you weren't CEO? You were on the management team, yes, but um, the elevation to CEO position in the last couple of years. Just talk to us about how that has felt for you as far as the growth of the company is concerned. It's... I've seen Sportsmax through all the different stages. I mean, some of the things I wouldn't want to, to tell on here, but, but we have gone through many, many different stages in our development. And I mean, out of sheer determination and sheer drive, that's what has brought us to this stage. Um, you said eight years, Lance, but I've been here for 10 years. Ten? I started in December 2012. So I'm, I'm here with Sportsmax for 10 years, and, and 
to be presenting this to the market. You know, it's, it's a milestone, and I'm really proud of this achievement and proud of what the team was able to accomplish. Can you talk to us quickly, to CEO, about the amount of work that went into this and maybe a hint at the financial cost of producing something like this because it looks very rich. <laughs> it is a huge commitment from our board. Um, this kind of investment is, is in the millions of US dollars. Um, <laughs> Right, um, and all of this started when I became. Well, this actually started from from 2015, right? When we were acqu acquired by Digicel, we started looking for a space to move to. Then immediately after, we, I became CEO. We did a proposal um, to move to the HQ, and um, the board was satisfied with the proposal. And um, my direct supervisor, uh, my direct manager, he was very enthusiastic about it. He supported the, the vision and they signed off on it. And I, I'm telling you, it's two years. Um, we were looking to be here from last year, June, at our 20th anniversary. And we're here now, uh, one year after. But what is incredible about this, I mean, we had a lot of challenges on the way we had covid we had logistics issues we had delays with equipment coming in but it has been a tremendous effort from all the members of the team and those who have supported this effort yeah well nick thank you very much for um giving us uh, some um qualification and clarification as to exactly how things have gone with this product because we're all really 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 proud of what is happening here and uh, I congratulate you as well for presiding over uh, monumental growth of uh, this uh, Sportsmax move. And uh, we look forward to continuing with that and making sure that our viewers are happy with the home of champions. Okay, that's Nick Matthews there. He is the CEO of Sportsmax Television. We go to break. A lot more to come on the zone after. Well, not a lot more because we're almost over, <laughs> but we come back to wrap the show after this. Yeah.